Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is the Word 500. And I'm going to start with crypt because you kind of, the clues have kind of been encrypted. Not as much as symbol, but anyway. Um, I think I had a suggestion similar to that. I don't, didn't remember the exact su suggestion, but crypt seemed good. Um, well, we have an R and a T on the right word and then a T on the left word. So I'm going to try ST on the left word. What do we want to do? Like stand or something? Maybe stain? I think stain's not bad. Okay. Got more info about the right word than the left word. Let's see. The T is redundant. Let's see. The I and the S. So wrist. Wrist, if I can spell that right. There we go. Nice. All right. Still haven't learned pretty much anything about the left word. What is the T doing? We could start with T. Hmm. What is this doing? What I'm thinking about is like, I don't know, starting with T and then ending in E, something along those lines. Incorporating an L in there somehow. Tilde came to mind, but there's no I. Um, I'm not really sure if I see anything, which is strange. The other option is to put the T like, yeah, we could end in like O-T-E or U-T-E or something like that. But there's no, ooh, how about like flute? I think flute is good. All right, I placed the T. It does not end in E, so maybe it ends in H. This U being not third is a bit strange. Oh, is it like quaff? It is quaff, okay. Those Q words, they can be strange. But yeah, I guess a U being likely second puts the Q being likely first. So always good to think about that. I was right about it ending in TH because it didn't end in TE. So good stuff, all right. Let's do the quartal. Start with quaff wrist. Wow, quaff helped very little. Um, let's see, wrist helped a little better, but let's look at this bottom left word, which has nothing going for it. And let's just get some good letters. Um, but clean, it's a good clean guess, huh? All right, which one do I want to look at? The top left looks interesting to me because I think we have all the letters. Yeah, it's train. Okay, and then bottom left, is probably L-A-C-K. Black, flack. I don't know if plaque is a word like that. Apparently it accepts it. Um, hmm. Bottom right, there's an S, R, and C. So it's probably S, C, R, A. Oh, scrap. You know, it could be, it could very likely be scrap. And I'm tempted to just guess it, get it out of the way. Let's do that. Oh, there's another. Oh, I just thought of more. Scram? As soon as that popped up, I thought of Scram. But I'm not going to I'm not going to waste more guesses on that. We'll get it hopefully later. Um, I'm thinking ooh. It's 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 either PI something ER, like Piper. I think Piper might be the only one that starts with P. But then IPER, there's Riper. Is that it? Just Riper and Diaper? Sorry, Riper and Piper. I thought of Diaper, but Diaper's not spelled that way. Riper and Piper and Viper. Okay. The problem is that two of those start with a repeated letter, so we can't really test for them easily. But what I can do is, well, one option is to double up one of them, like use two R's or two P's. Or I can just include a V. I think I want to start with P so that we know if the word starts with a P or not. And then I want to include a V. What do I want to learn about? I want to learn about the M for scram. I want to learn about the K. Well, and even if we know it was L-A-C-K, where it's between black and flack still. So I kind of want the F or the B. 
and I want the V and I want the M. <laughs> okay, that's not a word, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to make a compromise here. Um, or I could start with R, but I think I'd rather start with P. Would I? I'm not sure it matters. I could start with R. Or I could do two R's or two P's. Or I could just get these other words out of the way first. I'm just worried that there's another word besides scram. Like, is scrab a word or scrad or scrag? Scray, even? I don't think so, but. Here's the problem we only get one filler. That is a problem, isn't it? Um. All right, I need one of FB, I need a V for Viper. What is it? It's Piper, Riper, or Viper, right? They all have P in the middle. Oh, Piler? But there's no L, okay. That's fine. So I need to start with P or R, and I need to include a V for sure. Then I need one of F or B, and then if I can get an M, that would be nice because I'm a little bit concerned that there's options other than Scram. Um, but I'm not going to be able to get all those letters. Uh, it might turn into a guessing game here. I don't think there's a perfect filler here. Uh, unfortunate. It's all because I guessed scrap. I shouldn't have guessed scrap. Although without scrap, it would have been an IER word, and I would have been even, even worse uh, scenario because I wouldn't know that there was a P in the word. So I'm not sure scrap was all that bad, but I would have gotten two fillers instead of one, so I don't know. Hard to say what I would have done. I don't think I would have realized we were in the IER trap yet. <laughs> Should have, but... I can't think of anything to guess here. Um... I could gamble on the answer being scram. Just right now. Uh, that seems like a bad idea, though. I may as well try to get the other two words as, as well as possible. Um, but I, if I don't include the M, then I just need to start with an R or a P, and then I need to get a B or an F. Or sorry, I need a V, and then I need to test B or F. Tell me there's something that... I mean, fiber would be great if I was allowed to test R, R anywhere I want, <laughs> but that's not the case. I don't think there's a word like this. Ravab, ravab, ravaf, rafav, rap. <laughs> um, an option would be to guess something like fairy or fairy or something, because getting the double R would work. The problem is then I'd, I still wouldn't be able to tell the difference between Piper and Viper. I'm, I'm, it's it'd be down to a 50-50. Um, Something like berry. It would tell me if it's black. It would tell me if it's ri uh, riper. 
Well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. I'd, I'd, I'm still basically assuming it's Scram, and then I wouldn't know the difference between Viper and Piper. But I don't have any more fillers after that, and Black and Scram don't tell me that either. All right. Well, whatever. I think we're just, it's just going to be down to the down to luck. All right. So it's black. We're going to assume it's scram here. And it it is riper. Wow. Okay. Well, I won. I won one of the fifty fifties <laughs> at some point. It, I'm, I'm lucky it wasn't viper or piper. <laughs> Very nice. All right, I don't. Do I deserve the win or not? I'm not sure. I mean, at least I, I at least I identified what all the options were. All the words were among those options, and I came up with a filler that increased my odds of winning. So, you know, that's just how you have to play these games. Sometimes, sometimes it does come down to luck. Cool. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Toucan Sam, maybe? Any other Sams in here? <laughs> Grease is a movie, so is Anaconda. And, okay, Rent is a musical. Capybara. It's a cute animal. The largest rodent. Um, lions and jaguars are cats. Okay, hear me out. Capybara is the largest rodent. Anaconda is the largest snake, and lion's the largest cat. Under some metrics, <laughs> uh, to toucan is certainly not the largest bird. Um, I might be on the wrong track here because I don't know what else would go with that. But it's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, really, isn't the liger? The largest cat, but that's kind of a hybrid, so I don't know if that counts. But in some ways, the tiger might be bigger than the lion. I don't know. Just thought maybe that would be something they'd do. Um, foundation, foundation as in like makeup, base and foundation. I don't know. Oh, these are kind of synonyms. Bottom. What else would there be? Cucumber, clearly. Um, I, I'm, I'm not seeing a fourth for synod, like the the base. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Change, like like cash, like money, coins. I don't know about rent. Well, I can't I can't find four of anything. This is unique. Um Okay, Toucan being a mascot for cereal. Uh I don't see any other cereal mascots though. Uh foot unit of measurement, body part, I mean foot and legs and hair are body parts, I don't know. Um I don't see another body part anyway. Jaguar as in the car? The car company? Company. <laughs> Toucan. Could the toucan be like the largest tropical bird or something? I'm tempted to go capybara, lion, toucan, and anaconda. <laughs> Just because I don't know. Like, I feel like capybara, lion, and anaconda could be argued as the largest of some classification of animal. And then toucans are pretty big. I don't know if they're the biggest tropical bird. That might be interesting. Let's try it. 
No, one away. Okay, so maybe I'm on the right track. I don't know which one's wrong, though. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Okay, Grease is a musical, Rent is a musical. Any other musicals here? Hair is a musical. Okay. What's the other musical? It might be one I haven't heard of. Change, maybe? I haven't heard of a musical called Change. Lion King? <laughs> uh... What does cucumber go with anyway? That's weird. Could company be a musical? It doesn't seem to fit with other things. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try these. Okay, I guessed company was a musical. Never heard of it. Let's see. Did this help any of this? Um, I used hair as a body part earlier, but that, that didn't really go anywhere. So. We still have foot and legs for some reason. Um, we still have base and foundation and bottom. Whoa. Smacked my mic there. Um, legs? Or foot? Foot goes at the bottom of your... <laughs> maybe. Maybe foot. Let's try it. Lowest point. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? Um, all right. We still got capybara, lion, and anaconda. And we know it doesn't go with toucan. Now, it could be toucan instead of one of these three. I don't know if jaguar just fits with these somehow. Or maybe jaguar instead of lion and we put in toucan. What do these have to do with each other? Cu okay, this has to be the purple category. Cu cucumber and legs. And change. What could they possibly be? Probably a fill in the blank or something. Um, I don't know. It's one of those weird categories that in retrospect you go, okay. But <laughs> usually ends up being the last thing locked in. Did they change the colors again? This green looks weird. I don't like this green color at all. The blue's okay. The blue's kind of nice. Let's see. Okay, the only thing I can do is like try the animals more. Um, jaguar, capybara, lion, and anaconda? Still one away. Okay. So if both of those are one away, then that means either it's these three with, with something other than Jaguar and Toucan. So it'd have to go with Cucumber, Legs, or Change, which seems very strange to me. Or it means that Toucan and Jaguar are in and something else is out. To me, it feels like we shouldn't be putting both Lion and Jaguar in into the same category. Um... So I, I have one more try here. Let's try this. Yep. Oh, Amazon animals. Oh, okay. There we go. That makes sense. So it wasn't like largest of category like I thought. It's just Am Amazon animals. Gotcha. And so lion doesn't fit because they're African. And I have no idea what this is. Not even going to try. See something. See change. See cucumber I've heard of. See legs. Sure. See lion. Okay, how'd you do today? All right, let's do the word 500. The way this works is we get Wordle-like clues, except instead of having the clues on the letters themselves, we just get a count to the right. So we have to kind of guess where the, <laughs> where the clues end up. Um, what should we start with? Um, toucan? Oh, apparently, oh, it's like, Let's look back at here. 
Um, what's the first five letter word I see? Did they omit five letter words entirely from this one? They did. All right, let's go back to the quarrel then. Um, you know what? Let's start with scram or train. Let's start with train. Let's go easy on ourselves here. All right, one yellow and train. So we don't know which one's yellow, but we know one of these are yellow and the rest is red. So hmm, let's move the R to the end and let's do an ER word. It's like an OER word maybe, like... Hmm, Oh, and by the way, there are three difficulties for every daily. I'm doing the advanced anything goes difficulty. If you do standard, then letters never repeat and there's no J, Q, X, or Z. If you do standard plus, then it's just no repeats, but no banned letters and, and, and advanced is any word possible. I'm going to do loser. I think that's got getting some good letters. Ah, perfect. Wow. So we not only do we get rid of a bunch of good letters, but we know for sure that these are all red. That's awesome. Um, so I just need to move a different letter around. I think we're going to need vowels. So let's try getting an A in there. Um, where do I want to put the A? Maybe second? Um, how do I... How about wacky? Let's try wacky. That would be a wacky guess. All right, still one yellow. So if we're assuming that it's the A, then that means this is what happened. Um, so we probably do like a U second and an A last, or even like UA here, but I'm kind of running out of the double consonant options here. It could be a QU word, but then we'd have to put a vowel after the QU and there's not one available because we can't put A third. So I think it would be U second, A fourth, hmm like human, but there's no N. That feels close though. I, I feel like probably what happened here is that A is not in the word. So let's let's do I as yellow, and then let's pick one of these letters to include. We could we could end in Y. No, we can't end in Y. So probably not Y. Um I don't know. Would, oh, we wouldn't end in IC, so maybe not that. I don't know. Between WC and K, I'm not sure which one's good to use here. I can only use one of them. Um, I can use a U. Ooh, I, I, I thought of quick, but the problem is that uses C and K. But like QUI is not terrible. Um. Problem is, what do I do with? I don't know how to use a W, C, or K here, so probably not. Um, could it just be a C, I word somehow? We can't do civic, and the only reason we can't do civic is I's not fourth. Um, ooh. Seems hard. If it's not the I, that means we only use use. Does that help at all? I really want to put this I third. Okay, well, I fourth, but let's try it third. Um, yeah, I can use underscores so it doesn't turn red on me. Let's see. Maybe CH, like CHI, and then just two new letters. Surely there's something. Chimp. Chimp works. Three yellows and chimp. Okay, so I think I was right about the I and the C. And then they're still yellow, and then one, one more of these is yellow. So, uh, well, I was going to say ITCH, but we can't use the T and the I. What if what if the I is incorrect and we do have a T so that we can end in TCH? So we could do like UTCH. 
the problem is I'd have to use an M or a P, and I don't think putch or much is much a word. I could try it. All right, well, okay. Let's go back to this. So one green, one yellow, and much. So I did, I did not include a letter I needed to from chimp. So I do think the I is probably in. So there's no T, A, or N. So we can get rid of this T, we can get rid of this A. Um, I do think the C is in the word. I don't know whether it's yellow or green down here. And I think the H is in the word. So no M or P. And that would mean that I have the C and the H here. So there's no U in the word. And then, of course, there's no, no W, K, or Y if I'm including the C. So we have C, H, I to work with. One of them's in place over here, but not the other. If the C weren't in place, then the H would be, and we'd have to put a C second. So it would look like this. Sorry, let's do it this way. It would look like this, and then I'd have to put an I somewhere, not in the middle. So I don't like that at all. So the other option is the C is in place with an H elsewhere. But what would I put at the end of the C? Pretty much nothing. So I think I made a wrong assumption here. Um, assumption? <laughs> it feels like we're going to need this U. It could even be in place, but I don't know. Could the T be correct? If the T was correct, I don't know if it would be green or yellow here, but then we wouldn't have A's or I's. So I would think we'd have the T in and the U in. So we'd have those two letters. So no C, no H, no M. Oh, well, that doesn't work because I only have one from Chimp now. All right, what are the three from Chimp that we'd have? If we don't have the C or the H in Chimp, then we have to have the I, M, and P. So what does that look like? So no T. I wonder if much was even possible. I think it was. but um, So we have an M and a U. And then we could have the A in Wacky, I suppose. Well, we need one more letter. Um, no, we have all our letters. No, we have four letters. We have the, the U, I, M, P. Is that even, that already that doesn't seem like a word. Yeah, already that doesn't seem like a word. All right. Okay, maybe we do use the C then. I don't know, I'm back, I'm back to using the C. Um, oh no, my AC. Speaking of C. Darn it. Why is this so hard? Um, oops. Um, I don't know why I thought I was erasing something. So if we have the C, What are the two other letters here that we have? Let's say we have the C and the I, and not the H. What if the C got placed? Well, what goes after? If the C got placed here, what goes after that C? We wouldn't have the T. We probably have the M here. No, I don't like this at all. I could I could do a guess just to see if. Hmm. I could do a guess just to try to get all reds, based on word letters that I think aren't in the word. If I guessed a manic, it's obviously not correct. I mean, we can already see on train that it breaks train. But if I guess manic, 
it would tell me if I'm on the right track in terms of I, C's, and M's. I don't know. I, oops, I hit a button. I hit F11 and it screwed up the <laughs> screwed up the capture. All right. Um, what are letters I'm pretty confident aren't in the word? H, probably T and N, because I need I need an A or an I probably. What if I did like hunts? We know there's no S, so that that helps actually in narrowing down if if it does end up having some one of these in there. So yeah, let's guess hunts. There are two yellows in hunts. Well, it's not the S. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we could say the U was yellow here. And then we could say the T was green here with a T with the yellow T here. So if the T was green here with the yellow T here, then that means this T is yellow. There's no A, I, or N. There's no H. I need an M or a C. I need an M or a C, so I need the H. Oh, no, see, this breaks because I can't use the C, M, and P. Okay, so this assumption's wrong. It's not UT. That's good to know. So if it was U, not, it would not be T. Um, which is good. I think, I think we've got to use the I then. Like, let's say we used the, let's say there wasn't an I in the word. What would that mean? I think we'd have to use the H, because if we didn't use the H, it would be a C, M, and P. Um, well, hold on. If we use the U, we can't use the C and the H. So one of these would be red, which means we'd have to use the M and the P. But if we use the M and the P, then we can't use the C or the... Oh, okay, yeah. So the, the, the key here is, if I use the U, I think it just, it's just broken. Because I need to use, or may, maybe using the I helps. Because if I, okay, if I use the U, I have to use the I. I think that's what I've learned. Because if I don't use the I, I need three of C, H, M, P, but I can only take one of M, C, H. So this is telling me to take at least two of M, C, H, and this is telling me to take one of M, C, H. So that doesn't work. So I have to take an I, this yellow there, and then M, C, H, I only get one of. And I'm going to need to still, wait, I still only get one of MCH here. And I still need two. No, I can take one of MCH there if I take the P. So there's no T in the word, for sure. We said, oh yeah, we said there was an I, so there's no A or N. Okay, so we have to use the P, U, and I, and then we need to use one of MCH, and it's in place in much. And I think it's got to be the H, because otherwise we're using an N. Oh yeah, because there's no N, it, it means we have to use the H. So the H is in place at the end. This is all forced if we take the U. Um, so there's no M here. We have to take the H, right? So there's no C. Now we have to take a W, K, or Y out of place. So we have P, H, U, I, and it ends in... So we have all the letters. So it would be... P, I, U, and then like K, H, or Y, H, or W, H, in some order. I don't, I mean, I think it would have to end in P, H, wouldn't it? And then like U, P, H, and then like I, I, K, <laughs> U. No, this is not a word. So I think what we've learned is there's no U in the word. I think we've learned that. <clears throat> um, H, N, and T. We get two of H, N, T. Was there an issue with taking both H and T? Well, let's look at that. Oh, actually, okay. Let's put it this way. Come on, clear these. Okay. So we know there's no U because that just didn't work. Um, I only get one of N, N and T according to train. 
only one of these are in, which means there has to be an H and it has to be yellow here. Which means we have to take one of these H's, which means we need one of M, T, or C. If I only get one of M or C, then I need two, and I, and I have an H. So I get only get one of M or C, then I need one of I or P. It's really feeling like I should take the I, or I'm not going to end up with vowels, unless I take the A instead. But if I don't take the I, then I need one of M, C. Hold on, I get one of N, T. Hold on. What's it look like if I take the N? Because that gets rid of all these T's, and A and I. That seems bad, but that, that's why I'm trying to eliminate it here. So I take the N and the H. I now have no vowels except Y's. I mean, there are words that have only Y in them, but I'd have to take the Y. So I wouldn't get the W, C, or K. Um, I'd have the H, I'd have to have the M and the P. One of these would be in place. So I'd have H, N, M, P, Y in some order with the M or the H in place. So I don't see how that works. I really don't see how that works. Uh, PH, no, even if it was like, oh no, we can't start, can't do PH at the start because that breaks the MH in much. I really don't think this works. So I don't think we can take the N. We know we, we know there's no U, we know we take the H. We don't know if the H is yellow or, that's the problem, I can't mark this H as, as yellow or green because we don't know which one it is. Um, and we're not taking the N. Okay, so we are taking the T. So that means there's no C or M in this word. We have to take the I and the P. Taking this I. Oh, I can't take the I and the T though. Hold on. So if there's no U, there must be an H. We learned that. And then there must be a T, which means there's no A, I, or N. We have to take the T and the H. There's no C or M. And now chimp is broken. So I have to take the H and the N? Or is there some, it, was there a case where taking the U actually works? Darn it. Now I don't trusting the U thing. Okay, so let's say let's still say there's no U. How would I avoid taking? I, I can't avoid taking the H because then I have to have N and T, and that breaks train. So I have to take the H. And if we don't take the N, we have to take the T. So now we have the T and the H. So we don't get C or M. And we don't get the I because of train, and then that's broken. Okay, so if we take the H, we must take the N. Which is a little bit concerning. Because so I think this this is going to lead us back to where we were, but I'm just going to double check first. So I may have made a mistake, may have made an assumption I shouldn't have. So we know we take the H, I need one of M or C. If I get one of M or C, then I need one of I or P. But we know there's no I, sorry. We know there's no I from train. So if we only get one of M or C, then I have to take the P. And then why not take the A? Oh, there's no A because train. If I took the C, I think I have a little bit more. No, if I took the C, I wouldn't have any vowels. I'm out of vowels. A, E, I, O, U. And if I don't take the Y, I'm out of I'm out of ways to make words. So I have to take the Y. So there's no C. And I end up with M and H. Yeah, this is exactly what I had before. Unfortunately. So I'd have to do something like nymph. 
which is exactly what it is. Darn it. I had it. Wow, that's a hard word <laughs> for Word 500. Holy cow. I got it though. Holy moly. I didn't think of nymph somehow before when I had these letters spelled out. I'm sure you were yelling it. <laughs> All right. Let's do the polygonal. Um, oh, these repeat. So what does ing look like? Um, usually like L works pretty well between those, ng and ing. Um, like songling? Songling's a word. Wait, why is song... Songling's a kind of bird, isn't it? I don't know. Isn't that weird? Um, I thought for sure Songling would be accepted, considering the things that are accepted in this game. Um, it could be one of those words I read in a fantasy novel that was actually made up by the author. Let's see. Um, Problem is I can't do an I here. I really want to do an I here, but How about Pongling. <laughs> uh, anything Anling? Oh, it'll be Ang Angling. Uh, like Wrangling. So that's with a W. Um, All right, maybe it's not ing. I could look at t there. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Um, what should I do here? What about like er or something, or ed or es, like some something along those lines. Um, I could do I E R. I'm not seeing a word. Swervier. <laughs> um, I like the veer, the ervier thing, but I don't think that's a word. Um, what about like an e i o i o u s word? Viscous. <laughs> no, I don't know. Why I'm reminded of the word viscous, but. It could just be O-U-S, but I don't think that really changes much. Or I-U-S doesn't really change much. Um, let's look at I-U-S. Rustius. Crust the crustius. Crustus. I think I have to do a filler. It's really unfortunate. Okay, um, we're gonna do machined, I think. Chess the ED at the end, that's kind of nice. We're gonna do robustly to follow up. Okay, so this is an O. <laughs> okay, what, what, let's see, we have one, Two, three, four, five, six letters. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's going to be all of them. So we just have to rearrange these now. Should be. Maybe it ends in ST. But then what will we start with? We can't start with M. Can't start with. And then we'd have to use the I or the E. 
Um, so I don't think we can end an ST. Okay, so maybe we end an E. Could it be an M or an S or a T there? Uh, yes, it could be. <laughs> we could end an S. Maybe it's a plural. Um, this is not E, so this could be I. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try ending an E some more. How about S E or T E or M? Some sometime. Oh my gosh, what a word. That's two words. <laughs> okay. Uh, 98 words match, 32 ordinary, aluminum, interesting. Were there any like suffixes? I, oh, look at all these INGs, bungling. There was a, there was a N-G-L-I-N-G -I -I -G word, bungling. Dangling? I could have thought of any of these, jangling, mangling, tangling. Come on, how did I not think of any of those? And wangling, apparently. I, th I said wrangling, but not wangling. So I said wrangling, but not dangling or fangling. I don't know what fangling is, but jangling, I know. Um, mangling, I know. Okay. I could have just tried letters and gotten something. Oh, well. I don't think that would have helped much with some time. We've gotten the I in place. I think that's it. <laughs> Tangling would have been the best guess because at least it would have gotten the T, but I think I still would have been completely lost on what to guess. All right, let's do the mini. Ooh, first and fourth repeat today. Like swish. Nope. Um, T then. Trait. No, oh, that's AIT. Is there anything like trope? What can we do here? Ooh, I, I was going to say teeth, but there's no H. Um, I like ending in E. Tout? Is that a word? Apparently not. Tort? Tort's a word. Oh, R's in the middle. Okay. No E or I or... Okay, so we need a vowel. I think probably an A here would work. How about Arl? Yes, Arl. Nice. This is actually one of the smaller ones. Only 145 uh, ordinary words. Interesting. All right. Well, let's do the symbol. We'll start with blaze. Um, followed with bound when the B has a symbol. And it's almost never B first, but there you go. Uh, so we have a D at the end, and we start with L, A, Z, or E. Probably not Z. Um, if we started with a non-vowel, then the only vowel we can use is I, or Y's, I suppose. So like start with L, end with D, and we only get a livid would work. Nice! Yes! <laughs> got it in three. All right, it's been a while since I got a three, I think, in symbol. So especially after yesterday. Oof, yesterday's symbol was nasty with that trap. I forget what trap it was, but... Nice. Blaze bound livid. <laughs> I, love when, I love when I get lucky like that. All right, let's do the fusel, and we're starting with livid for some reason. All right, there's one I and there's an L somewhere. This this clue does not give us whether they're green or yellow, just that they would be green or yellow. Um, we could just start with LI again. We could do light. This is going to give us warmal clues. Okay, so it told us that the I is in place, and it told us the L is somewhere else, and it told us this isn't near L. This is near H, which could be L, because L's within 3 of H. So I think this could be an L for sure. Um, so what do we want to do otherwise? Um, this is not letting us guess G, H, J, K, N, or X. Oh no, no X. Um, now I could do something like L, L, Y. We could do an, we could do an illy trap word. So we could do like silly. Well then, uh, silky, nice. 
All right. So the L wasn't here, <laughs> strangely, even though the H turned to orange because it was K. Nice. Good solve. All right. We will start the blind with Silky. Ooh, not bad. Though these are the Wormel hints again. So this is there's an I here. Here we're going to get uh, symbol-like hints. So this is near S, but not S. I could start with R, I could start with T. Maybe really any of these would work except Q. Probably not U either. Um, what do I want to do here? Interestingly, this one's not an I because I is too close to K. I was gonna do a, I was gonna do one of those words that repeats the I like that, but we're not we can't actually. Um, ooh, I can't do I-N either. I was going to think like I-N-G-E or something like singe or tin tinge would be great, but there's no N here. Um, could it be an E-R word? It could be an E-R word. So we could do Piper. All right. So what we learned is it starts with P-I. There's not another P. Well, if there is another P, it's at the end. What, there's a P or an E at the end of the word. I'm going to say it's an E. Um, so what is a word? Peak would do it. Nice. <laughs> okay, those were good solves. Both fusels were good solves. I enjoyed that. All right, well, Word 500 took a while, but that was hard. Nymph is hard in Word 500, let me tell you, because you assume there's vowels in the word. Um, connections was weird. But yeah, I think these were good games overall. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.